Hey, what's up, guys? Scares here, back with another video. And today's video is. Hey, what's going on, guys? Apple Pie here, back with another scarce impression here. And today's a little bit of a different outlook on this video. Um, and recently in the news, it's been on the cover of a bunch of magazines, cover of all these different news organizations. CNN's talked on this. Um, today's show, Good Morning America, all these different news outlets have been talking about this issue, and I kind of wanted to bring it to attention because, uh, this is some serious news, and I just wanted to bring you my outlook on this. So, recently, in the news, about a week ago, or one or two weeks ago, uh, PewDiePie, um, has been called out by the Wall Street Journal about his supposedly anti-semitic uh remarks towards um jewish population and in one of his videos he was wearing a nazi soldier outfit and he was watching uh hitler's speech and he was kind of like you know nodding towards it and he was kind of acting and agreeing towards it so the wall street journal calls out and says you're a white supremacist and uh you know anything for views and uh this is not what you do to show to your fans and so i think that you know they they get paid to be one-sided their journalists get paid to be one-sided and you know all this all their stuff to make them look better and look all of their news um people that are in the news to look bad make them look better make okay so here's this one situation that if you want to take it uh not as a joke and you want to take it literally then okay people might think if they don't do research and see who pewdiepie is as a person then they might think okay this guy is a this guy is a but he's a white supremacist so I can expose him and only listen to this part and have this part be the most important thing and everything else just goes in one ear and out the other and so others might agree with that and so I personally think that's not a good approach on everything that's not a good approach on anything how did this match turn into a 2v2 I really don't know how but um PewDiePie also supposedly got taken out from his uh, network, which is Maker Studios, which if you guys didn't know, it was own, it's owned by Disney, the company that makes, you know, Moana and all these different movies. Um, he supposedly got kicked out. And if you go to the MakerStudio.com and you click on their gaming tab, then you'll see that PewDiePie is still there. And if you look on, uh, if you have, like, these heart, the heartbeat tab, or the tube buddy tab, you can see everyone's network. You can see what the videos are monetized by, and who they're monetized by, and his latest video that he uploaded today is still monetized by Maker Studio themselves. So I found that this is kind of fake news. So I believe that this is fake news, and that this news isn't completely truthful. Like, um, as Donald Trump said in his conference with his news conference, the first one that he's had, uh, he even said, uh, all the news is fake. And he was kind of calling out CNN and the Wall Street Journal for having fake news because it was a bunch of broadcasts, there news broadcasters that were recording it and that were there taking notes from it. And so he said, all news is fake news, which... I can I can agree with part of that and I agree with that because um PewDiePie has been gaining a lot of subs from this and if he supposedly got kicked out of his um group or his network then I don't think he should still um have his videos monetized by them because we want to kick out someone with 55 million subs because 
if you have him in your network, you're a big network. If you got people with 10 millions of subscribers, then you would then you're a big organization and you're gonna have a lot of money coming through because you guys didn't know PewDiePie's annual salary is anywhere from eight to ten million dollars a year, which is a huge salary. And if and all the organizations are gonna get a part of that, like a big chunk of that for hosting him. And who who would want to kick him out? And so Jack Septicai had his thoughts on it, and he was kind of defending PewDiePie in the beginning. And so was Markiplier, and they're all in the Maker Studio organizations, and. They um, kind of uploaded another video saying that they regretted what their first outlook on it. And now there's more informed, supposedly. And that they're now kind of not going towards PewDiePie. And I mean, Jacksepticeye is a really nice YouTuber along with PewDiePie. And so I think that this is all like a marketing stunt and that this is fake news. This is going back to Donald Trump. So, um, before you guys say anything bad about me, I, Donald Trump is growing on me. I didn't vote, but now that I pay attention to more of his stuff, not like both sides going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, I kind of growing to like Trump. I think he's already run our, um, stock markets through the moon more than Obama has in the last eight years. I think he's gonna do a really good job. The um, Muslim ban, he's kind of like, okay, this wasn't a very good idea, so I'm gonna relook it. I'm gonna do this, this, and this to make it better. Which, from being a businessman, I to being a political leader, that's a good step for him because you learn by your mistakes. If you mistake, if you make mistakes, better things are most likely gonna come from it. So. Trump's a really smart man. If he wasn't a smart man, then I don't think he would have gotten picked to run our, or run our country. So, I think that was kind of his outlook on this entire situation. Like, okay, all news is fake news because this is all fake news that's coming from this. Oh, I need another gun. But, um... The reason why I think that this is fake news also is because um, if you watch PewDiePie, which most likely you do, is he's a f he's a comedian. I would I would classify him as a comedian because he's a really funny guy, and he's just sitting there talking about everybody, and he's like, um, I want to see how um, how much money I can give these people to make. Uh, to make them look like they're saying racist remarks. And so we give people in a African country, he gave them five dollars and he he uh had him write a sign that had white supremacy stuff on it. And so that's that isn't that isn't necessarily completely right, but that's that's not white supremacy in any way. And I th I really think this is a marketing stunt. I think that this is a really big marketing stunt because Disney, everybody is money hungry. Everyone wants a steady income coming through. And if PewDiePie is going to do that, then they're going to want to do all this stuff sooner and sooner and sooner so geez this match is really hilarious going 12 and 4 i'll get the scarab going people hey yo bro lead me to your leader get a double kill Oh, okay. I'll just continue. So all these news organizations are making them look one-sided. And all these news articles are just saying PewDiePie is bad. PewDiePie is a white supremacist. PewDiePie this, PewDiePie that, PewDiePie this, PewDiePie that. 
And he's gained half a million subs in the last week because of this. He gains a million subs a month. Average, I, I would say, and which is a lot of subs per month. More, more than I have ever had. And... So... He... You're gonna die. And... While I'm loading it to Overwatch, because after that match, I went back and I tried to lo load into several different matches. And I guess people are just aren't playing Infinite Warfare right now, so I'm just gonna play some Overwatch comp. And... So... I was I've been doing a little bit more research and I found the original Wall Street Journal article and they're just calling him a white supremacist and and that YouTube uh the Wall Street Journal told YouTube to cancel his red show or it's like scare PewDiePie or something like that. I don't have YouTube red so I don't really know. And so um, they deleted that red show, which is the most viewed re YouTube red show there is. They're removing him from every single tie with YouTube. Now, when you cut ties with the biggest person on YouTube, you get backlash from all the little YouTubers. So, like, Nigahiga, um, all these gaming YouTubers that are associated with PewDiePie come and start, like, roasting the Wall Street Journal saying, you're one-sided. You're, um, you are white supremacist. You, you want, to, you're bashing PewDiePie. And so while we load into this match, I'm just going to keep explaining that if this was real news, PewDiePie could indeed sue the Wall Street Journal for slander, which he should do if this is real news because what what are uh, he could say his losses are business ties i lost all my sponsors and all of the stuff and it'd be a really big trial it'd be a really big court case kind of like the oj case was a decade or two back and so I would think PewDiePie would jump and have lawyers and it'd be all over the news now. Biggest 52 million subscriber YouTuber PewDiePie suing Wall Street Journal over slander. That would be bigger news than this, I think. So when he's not doing that, when he's not really saying anything, when he's kind of just not uploading anything... To save his butt, he, he's just leaving himself by himself. It's kind of like the Psycho series from McJuggernuggets. Everybody thinks, oh, this is real, this is real, this is real. If this is real news, then you would think he'd be suing, and he'd be suing, and he'd be cutting ties, and he'd be defending himself right now. He'd be, he'd be finding some way to defend himself, but he's really not doing any of that. Hey, Bastion, you need to go kill yourself right now, please, because nobody likes you, Bastion. I don't know if I'm just repeating myself, but I hate fake news. I hate... I hate Keemstar. I hate all of these fake news organizations, and I want to kind of try to bring you all the, like, right news. I want to give you both sides of the... Uh, topic. Yes, PewDiePie was messing around with a hard topic. He was messing around with a hard topic because World War II was a war nobody wants to look back on. Nobody likes the history that's behind World War II. And that's on his fault. But the Wall Street Journal doesn't have to be one-sided and say like, that PewDiePie is a white supremacist because he said these remarks. Because he was he was joking around. Because his because of this, 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 and this reasons that I already said. And I think the Wall Street Journal has, is kind of like CNN, where they're one-sided of this reason. And you'll never find a news organization that gives you both sides because they want you to think 
This is the reason because of this, 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 and this. Some news organizations are democratic, some news organizations are liberal. And they're gonna try to convince you that their beliefs is right. Which, don't get me wrong, you have the right to do that since you live in the United States of America. But, you don't mess with people's income. You, you don't do that. You don't mess with people's look, with the public's lookout on somebody because they're just joking around and doing all these things for fun. I have no idea what I'm currently doing. So, I personally just feel that this is all just a marketing scam. Don't get me wrong, it's working because everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking to PewDiePie. PewDiePie is gaining so many subs. And the only way to view the Wall Street Journal's outlook on it is you gotta pay 12 bucks for the articles that are on PewDiePie. If you look at an article at the Dow Jones rise in two months since Trump, you probably wouldn't pay for that. Probably wouldn't pay for that. But you gotta pay for this because... Oh, oh, this PewDiePie, everyone, everyone's going all crazy about this. You gotta pay for it now. No. See? This is really stupid. People have mixed feelings. People are getting paid to say one thing. You're messing with the hearts of the sub true supporters of PewDiePie. The true supporters of PewDiePie that aren't informed as a lot of other people are. That... Shoot, they're, that they're not as informed are gonna, oh, I'm gonna go hate on this person because I am ill-informed and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, the Wall Street Journal said this on PewDiePie, so I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna take this out on that. No, you don't do that. I have really mixed feelings on this. So, um, and then they're making PewDiePie like say I'm sorry, and you shouldn't do that for joking around. The pranksters don't have to say sorry to people that they prank. Like, so you don't see Roman Atwood saying sorry uh oh sorry I pranked you and you're so butt hurt that oh uh, now you're going to force me to say sorry and they the Wall Street Journal is so one-sided they're even sending reporters to go to PewDiePie's house and try to get into his house to interview him like if this wasn't if this wasn't already fake news then you would think PewDiePie would be suing them for trespassing, for trying to get into his house. For all these different charges you can have placed on the Wall Street Journal. Like, this is, this is just why I think it's fake news, because there are all these things by law that they're doing that is wrong if this is completely real. So... I don't know. I try to inform you. I'll place the Wall Street Journal uh, link in the description to their website. And right now we are losing. Yeah, we lost. Dang. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, like if you liked it. Sub if you've loved it. Post your thoughts in the description. I want the description on this video to kind of be like place where you can say whatever you want and no hate will come towards you and yeah so don't forget to turn on the post notifications right next to the bell icon that is next to the sub icon so you'll never miss an upload follow my twitter oh, this 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 and this you guys know by now and stay tuned come back for more Junkrat, say bye. Bye. Bye.